want to have scratches on your skin from a facial scrub scrub and it's not necessary all right so i'm going to go ahead and take you along to see what i do you ready stay tuned hi there coach latanya here obviously a different uh background i'm in my bath in my bathroom today um because i wanted to show you my skincare routine I just did a treatment, um, one of my skincare routines. So in a few videos uh, back, I mentioned that I needed to get back on my skincare routine. I had really been neglecting my skin. Um, I don't do that often, but just so much going on. And it's just sometimes, you know, when you have to process and figure out things, we can kind of lay our routine aside. And that's what I did. I laid it down. Okay, so I'm picking it back up. And I had to do a little bit of, uh, I'm a vet, army vet, recon mission. So I had to go back and uh, address some of the things that um, I had not addressed in a while. So one of them being after the summertime, around September, I like to assess my skin. Let's see what the, you know, uh, freckles that came out or um, sunspots that came out and uh and then address them and i do that with a freckle pen now i'm not gonna recommend the pen that i bought because i don't recommend um you go out and go get a freckle pen and start doing this to your skin i recommend that you get um you know see a, a dermatologist see a doctor um someone who is knowledgeable in that area especially with um colored skin um and i say that because uh, melanin right anytime you have more pigment that melanin may respond a little bit differently uh, especially to like a uh, freckle pen or things like that so I recommend seeing a professional first I did it to myself because this is my skin that I'm doing on my face okay but I wanted to just kind of share you what I share with you what I do so I'm not going to show you the procedure that I do but I'm going to show you how I care for it so Today is Tuesday. By the time you see this video, it will be on a Thursday. So it is seven days today that I did this um, this procedure. And basically what it is, it's like cauterizing uh, that area. So let's say like here, for example, let's say I went in here, cauterized the area. And it kind of like, you know, if you're cooking something or frying something and you get like a burn on the top of the skin, it, it burns the top of that. But what happens is it, it encourages healing. And so it's basically, it has to, um, to heal. It looks, you know, uh, inflamed the night before I was going to take a picture. I'm not quite sure if I have a picture of that, but it was like inflamed the night before, but I used my, um, my rose toner, which is so soothing. It's so soothing that even if I get a mosquito bite in the summertime from gardening, I spray this on and it really just brings that inflammation right down. I love it. So it's perfect for that as well. So um, this toner also, this toner not only soothes the skin, but it brightens and evens out the skin tone. And uh, it's been cold and I just, even this, toning my skin, cleansing my skin, I just kind of do a little oil, wipe it off and then go to bed. So even this um, helps me to get that glow, that natural glow um, that I usually have. And so, um, what I'm going to be doing today, this is day seven, so I don't even need to get close. You can see how it has dried up. Now, the first day, it's like puffy and red. The inflammation comes down, especially after the rose, rose toner. Um, but then I'm left with like the redness, right? And then that has to heal. So I would say day one to day three or even four, I use apple cider vinegar. And I use a cotton swab and I just put some apple cider vinegar and it burns, okay? <laughs> it burns. Um, and I do that twice a day at least to help to help the process, help the healing process. I don't put any oil on my skin for those few days. I just let my skin be, okay? If I see that it's, you know, the next day maybe a little puffy still, I might spray some of the rose toner, but that's that's the most that I do, okay? And then at about day four and five, then I'll go ahead and put some, um, the cleansing oil. This is the, uh, 
facial oil that I'm using at the moment. Maybe that light. Let's see. Let me close this. There we go. Okay, so this is the oil that I'm using at the moment. Facial cleansing oil. Now this facial cleansing oil is formulated to fade spots. There are some really good oils out there that naturally heals the skin, naturally helps that skin um, to regenerate on a cellular level. And uh, I'll share some of that in this video as well. Now, my daughter had a scrape on her wrist and I'm gonna show you those pictures as well. So she had a scrape on her wrist and you'll see, cause it's dated, I actually chronicled it. This was when we were at the harvest gathering or soon after and I made a fresh batch of calendula oil. Now calendula is very soothing for skin. It's great for diaper rash, any type of scrapes and burns and things like that. It really helps that skin, but it helps to regenerate that skin. Now rose hip is very good as well. So I'm using rose hip oil, but this one is formulated with essential oils to help to fade and to heal the skin. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you how I use this oil. This is my latest formulation, uh, the rosehip oil. But at night I may use um, the calendula oil with the vitamin C as well. But for today's video, I'm going to be using this facial cleansing oil. Okay. Pretty low, but this is my um, charcoal active charcoal that I'm, I'm going to use as a scrub okay rose toner hey, this i haven't even put this in the shop yet hopefully i'll have it in the shop this weekend but vitamin c serum this is a game changer because vitamin c helps to brighten and even out the skin tone um and i get told a lot while wow, your skin is glowing when i'm on my routine your skin is glowing and these are the products that i use um, these types of products these I what I sell in my shop is what I use um, And I'm a big, big advocate on using as many Natural products as possible. I believe in trying to prevent body burden trying to prevent that that chemical burden on the body where it's um, Trying so much to heal and recover from all the chemicals that we're exposed to first of all, but then also slathering on our skin so this is why I uh, created this, 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 this line because when I had the adrenal insufficiency, one of the things that came back to my memory is how the, the things that we put on our skin is absorbed into our bloodstream as well. So if you're having, especially during that, you know, 35, 45, 55 range, we spoke about how the hormones are imbalanced. I recommend you going and looking at your products as well because some of these synthetic products can actually disrupt hormonal balance for me that was a game changer it really frustrated me but it frustrated me not into a depression it frustrated me to move and to do something that not only can benefit myself and my family but you as well now um there are two types of scrubs there are um, exfoliants if you want to say um you have your physical which is this which means you physically have to scrub it but then you also have the chemical which is an usually an acid base uh, formula formulation that helps to kind of smooth that surface of the skin. I do not recommend using the uh, large granulated scrubs for your face and here's why. The facial skin is much more delicate than the body especially the elbows and the, 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 the body skin especially by the under eye area but for sure for sure the facial skin is more delicate. So I recommend using a finer granulated almost a powder something that is gentle enough that you can use several times a week, okay? Now, if you're using, I do have bath scrubs, I do have um, body scrubs, but you'll see those are more granulated. Those are not the powder type because it's not enough for that type of skin. You're going to use a physical exfoliant for your skin, for your facial skin. I highly recommend using that has a finer powder-like um, consistency. And the reason why is because when the larger granules can really scrape the skin, okay? Now, if you're melanated as well, those scrapes, you don't know how, if it's going to leave a mark. Um, and if you're not melanated, you don't want your skin scraped up. You don't want to have scratches on your skin from a facial scrub, scrub, and it's not necessary, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and take you along to see what I do. You ready? Stay tuned. You don't want to have scratches on your skin from a facial scrub scrub and it's not necessary all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take you along to see what I do you ready 
stay tuned. I'll start by pulling my hair back and I have some gray hair in here but it's okay you can see this is why I did the hair color because you can see how the gray I know I'm gonna probably stain this with a little uh, bit of the, the charcoal as well that's the beautiful thing about um, natural products is it's not causing any damage so I'm just gonna stain the grays here but I don't really care about that like little transition part so just a little touch up there I think I might do that as well now but it's not that type of video <laughs> so let's go ahead with my um, facial cleansing oil okay this is a beautiful beautiful oil and this is what it looks like okay so I'm gonna start with that and you always want to start on with clean clean hands all right so make it nice and warm and then I'm gonna go in and massage the skin now you can also do this with castor oil I don't know if you've seen my video the many uses of castor oil but I will definitely use castor oil as well I kind of look at my skin and see where it's at and what it needs and especially with the colder drier weather castor oil is great for hydrating soothing the skin and a facial massage is very good as well because it really helps to clear drain and things like that I noticed for my skin I've always been this way since I was in my 20s my late 20s for sure I remember using those frothy uh, cleansers for me dry my skin to the point where you know when you smile you can feel the tightening of the skin so I've always been that way so what I noticed for me is that as we get older we can also experience that skin is going to change but I noticed that for me having a fat, a higher fat diet healthy fat hemp hearts hemp seeds olive oil coconut oil avocado those types of fats really uh, help my skin improve my skin in addition to using cleansing oils instead of those frothy cleansers I know we've been trained and conditioned that you know you get all those fr that frothiness and that suds and it's really cleansing sometimes it's just the formula that's causing the sudsing is not necessarily doing something more sometimes depending on the cleanser so leave a comment let me know your your experience with the the foaminess do you find that it dries out your skin all right so nice little massage it feels wonderful all right so now I'm gonna go in with a my towel love this part love 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 this part so put this on and get it in just steaming the face I think even you can already see <laughs> the difference right you can already I didn't wash my face this morning because I wanted you to see right I wanted you to see so you can already see how it is um, brighter okay so now I am going to go in with the scrub I don't play around with my ingredients they are high quality ingredients so this active charcoal is a high quality active charcoal. Um, and so I'm gonna use this to uh, do a little bit of an exfoliant here. So it's highly pigmented. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. And I'm actually gonna make a little bit of a paste. Okay, you see that? You can see how highly pigmented that is, right? All right, so this is gonna be messy. But I usually I'm the one cleaning up my bathroom, so it's okay. <laughs> this way. Highly, highly efficacious. All right, so this is, oh, that rose toner smells so good. All right, so nice and pasty there. And I'm gonna start here. Now, I could leave this on as a mask, 
and it would draw out the impurities from underneath the skin and I do that also okay so I'm just gonna kind of leave that there all right, all right and then I'm gonna go here to stain it working through it you know what let's just go in there let's just get in there and get it done get in there and get it done right if we don't have a skincare routine it can slow down the cellular turnover. Imagine if I went outside like this. Now, the great thing about this is as it dries, the color changes as well. Um, so you don't have to, uh, is it dry yet? Is it dry? Is it not dry? dry? Not dry. Just kind of kind of let it dry a little bit. And you can see all I did was the rose, spray the rose with the paste, made a paste with the, the rose toner. Scrubbed it in. I could see, I could feel some of the, um, the covers of the, some of them not ready yet. And that's okay. I'm not rushing the process. I'm not rushing the healing process. I just wanted to show you what it, how would I do, right? Now, some of them will probably come off. This is seven, probably in another three days. Um, but by that time, this video will already be posted. But this is what I do. And I don't do this often. Maybe once a year, maybe twice. That's about it. Because this is more of a maintenance, a recon mission. Because, but, um, but today it's a recon mission because I haven't done it since August. And here we are in 2024. So, yeah. All right. So, what a look, right? <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and when it's pretty much the same way I, I did steaming the face. Okay, so again, I'm not trying to rush the process. I wanna make sure I'm not taking off those that are not ready, but you can see this one. Okay, so you can see in here, that one is not ready yet. These are not ready yet. Okay, but this one, this one, this one, this one, and now these are just spots. So the freckles came off, and these are just left with the spots. So this is why I use the cleansing oil, because the cleansing oil nourishes the skin, but also brightens, fades those spots as well. So during the summertime, or year round and I'm not really concerned with like covering up my skin my complexion because it's already looking healthy now I do love makeup but I don't want to feel like I need it every day um, because my lifestyle doesn't you know I'm not training training clients with a full face of makeup to me that's just for me that's not practical um, for me everyone is different and that is okay but for me that's that just doesn't work um, I actually want to use the oil again just to make sure that I have everything off and this is where I can use the cleanser again but I'm not drying out my skin so I'm gonna come in and just kind of nourish the skin a little bit after and that um, because the powder is fine it's not abrasive I do feel the exfoliating part but um it's not abrasive. It's not so abrasive that it's harsh. I should put it that way. Now on your skin, your face, you don't want to pull down. You want to go up. Since I was trained cosmetology school, I work with skincare companies as well. And that's how I was trained. You do not want to pull that facial skin down. You want to pull it lifted up, right? You want to be uplifting. So lifting up. Okay, even get in there and I want to keep this video short. So I'm going to hurry up. All right, get a little bit of tapotement in there. I had some salt last night, some cookies, and so I can see it under my eyes, but 
it's okay. During the week, I'm using my staples, the toner, facial cleansing oil, vitamin C serum. That's it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my toner. Feels so good. Let my skin just drink up that moisture. Now, I don't know if you can tell again, but you can see how my skin is brighter. All right, and I just kind of give my skin a moment to just enjoy all that goodness. And then I'm gonna go in with the serum. This is a vitamin C serum. It has aloe in it. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which helps to fill in the skin, especially during this time of the year when it's dry and the environment is really sucking the moisture out. You wanna put that back in. So it's a nice clear serum, all right? And I know people do this here, dropping that in. Let's go ahead and put this on. Feels so good. It feels like it's hydrating my skin. It's so, that's 26% um, vitamin C, this serum. Okay, so I did the toner, did the serum. You want to make sure you get the decolletage as well. I didn't really get that area so much, but just get the neck up on the neck. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. But all the way down to here, right above the, the nipple area, you want to really focus on when you're doing your skincare routine. All right, so again, we're letting that go in and you can see the difference. And then I'm going to do, finish up with my oil, just a little bit. And for me, it just seals everything in, okay? I can feel it kind of working a little bit and just seals it in. And that is my skincare routine, okay? So... You can see again that as these come off, these are not ready yet, then um, I'm going to go in. I didn't do the top part. I'm going to go in probably next week and get to these areas here just to like clean it up. And, uh, and that's it. All right. So that is my video. That is my skincare routine. That is my recon mission. <laughs> that I do, um, the recon mission that I do once or twice a year. Just to keep the freckles at bay, um, I get that from sun exposure. I do use um, an SPF. I was using the Black Girl Sunscreen, which I love that one, um, but I also had this one. Uh, my husband got this one for me, and 50. SPF 50. So I believe melanated skin also needs sun protection. There are a lot of uh, oils out there that has some as well, but when I'm outside walking my dog, especially, I try to get this in, or if I'm going to be in the garden a lot, I get this in. Last thing I want to say is if you're using vitamin C, vitamin C is photosensitive, which means if it's sunny out, you go out in the daytime, that can actually um, and irritate your skin. So I recommend using your vitamin C serum at night. Now, some people will say you can do it during the day as long as you're using a sunscreen. I recommend doing it at night. I'm doing it now because it's been snowing, it's cloudy, and it is one o'clock. So I'm not planning to go back out right now um, in the sun. I was outside, I've already been out. So I love the way it looks. It feels great and that's it. All right, so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, go ahead, leave a like, share, comment. Um, if you've not yet subscribed, you enjoyed this video and the other content here on this channel, I want to uh, invite you to go ahead and like, um, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. When you hit that notification bell, be sure to hit all so that you don't miss a video. And I promise you, I'm not doing 50 million videos a day, so you will not get... <laughs> 
a lot of notifications about that. But I do upload on every Monday and Thursday right now. And so I don't want you to miss that content. So go ahead and hit all for that. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until next time, live beautiful.